How do you accept and make peace with loneliness? Honestly, get yourself a hobby. Throw yourself into school. Play video games. I spent most of my life having no friends. And for a while it really bothered me and I was desperate and needy for attention. Then I realized that I didn't actually like most people. And decided to do my own thing to try and find myself. Turns out you can do a lot in your spare time that doesn't involve people. Edit. OMG thanks for all the karma and the awards. This is honestly what helped me most getting over loneliness. That's why I got a bow. 1. Dog. 2. Answering ask Reddit questions and getting replies and upvotes is sometimes a nice pick-me-up. 3. There are times where I just have to go on a walk and kind of wallow in it for a minute. 4. Audiobooks and podcasts. 5. The knowledge that so many other people are lonely too. Brings me a sense of solidarity. I find it interesting that no matter who you talk to they will always have problems. E.g. the quiet person is usually lonely and are just bad at socializing. The funny person feels like if he wasn't funny no one would be his friend. The popular happy people often feel suffocated from all the people and acting happy all the time. Etc. You get used to it. Asterisk. First you hate them, then you get used to e monsieur. Asterisk. You can always look to all the pros of not having to deal with people. Having been in an awful relationship I've now realized that being alone isn't that bad. Not worrying that something you say might make them blow up at you and ruin your entire week is so chill. I'm so bad at telling the bad ones from the good ones that being alone is the safest and best option. Even if the pang of loneliness hurts every now and then. Memes and an entire internet full of boobs. Boobs spell backwards is S boob. I think loneliness is part of the human condition. Even people with lots of friends don't have anyone they can call if they were crying at 3. A hey, monsieur, my advice, get a pet. They really do help ease loneliness. Also, get a job or volunteer job that has you interact with people. Socialization can be fulfilling even if it isn't intimate. You sleep 12 hours a day and surf the net 12 hours a day with occasional poop breaks. You sleep 12 hours a day? No wonder you can't fit in 16 hours of surfing the net. Amateurs. I'm possibly one of the least popular kids at school. Just above the kid who has temper or tantrum in the hallway. I like to make scenarios in my head of me being cool and pretend they're memories. Then I just pretend it's cause people are too scared of me to like me. It also makes me feel powerful. Very sad. I know. I am very curious about this too. For me I appreciate little things. Someone noticing me. Being courteous. My housemates saying my hair look good. Sometimes a small compliment keeps you going for a few more days. And that's how I have been getting on for last couple of years. Also working on yourself and bettering yourself is a good motivator and a hope. That things will change. It might be weird to hear it say. But accepting you are alone, and nobody is coming to rescue you from that provides a great deal of peace for me. Stop hoping it will get better on its own. It will not. I might get better if you put in effort, coupled with a bit of luck. Otherwise, it is just you, and you are capable of more on your own than you give yourself credit for. Meditate and learn to disconnect from your phone and just sit there and don't think of anything. Once you do that you let your higher self talk to you. My anxiety has entered the chat. There's a certain fundamental loneliness which pervades the entirety of life, and cannot ever be filled in by even the most fulfilling of relationships with other humans. When alone or unable to form connections with others which feel meaningful, it can be hard to estimate how much of the lonely feeling is due to solvable versus fundamental loneliness. So, one way that I make peace with lone lines is to accept it on some level as simply part of the human condition. This describes perfectly what loneliness feels like to me. No matter how many people I am surrounded by, I always feel this fundamental loneliness. I don't think this is part of being human. 
It's part of being trapped in a society that fosters competition and individualism above all else. At least that's how it feels for me. Never having felt so alone before hitting adulthood. Meditation, music, pot, video games, not watching Netflix while lonely, killing a man, figuring out how to further improve my self-image and mitigating my flaws so that if I get pushed away I won't be the one to feel guilty. These are how I deal with it anyway. No idea how to accept it. One of these things is not like the other. Yeah but pot helps with many people's depression so I think it fits. I can be your friend if your lonely smiley face. A A A A N D gets no replies XD got my follow bruh. Came here for answers internet told me to get used to it and start jerking off. I seek out solitude. I rarely get lonely. But if I ever do. I think of how stressful it is to be around other people and it goes away. Emo. Most of loneliness is built out of cultural expectations. We live in a society. And naturally that society is shaped by gregarious people. If you're introverted and find other people taxing, you're likely not going to put in the effort to outshine the attention seekers. So, the notion that solitude is comfortable, normal, and even desirable doesn't achieve cultural currency. So, tune out the loud voices in the room and be ruled by your inner self. What do you want out of life? Do you want to please others? Currying favor with persons over which you have no control? Or do you want to please yourself? And I'd say that those cultural norms were greatly influenced by biology. Humans are social animals. Extended loneliness is going to be uncomfortable for more people than not. As demonstrated by the existence of this thread, I used to be very bad at handling loneliness. I was very very clingy to my previous partners. Even if during times where we fight a lot or times where I didn't actually like them that much. I couldn't seem to truly function without them by my side. I was very dependent on other people. I was always trying to keep myself busy by meeting up with people. Arranging plans. Being in calls and texting lots of people non-stop. But now I've seemed to have made peace with it. I'm not sure exactly what caused it. I think it's from a collection of things that happened on my life. I suddenly just had a realization moment. I found that first you have to learn to love yourself. This isn't by being selfish or wallowing in self-pity or victimizing yourself. I did a lot of this too in the past. But by being able to admit the negative aspects in your life and accept and take full responsibility for it and coming to terms with yourself to be able to move on from past mistakes or past behaviors and working towards becoming a better person i think being comfortable with yourself is absolute key to being able to cope with loneliness at least in my case the loneliness used to kill me because i would overthink a lot loneliness also caused me to be lethargic and lazy Tomorrow will always be a day away. You are the only one in charge of your happiness. I try to remind myself of this whenever I feel lazy or unproductive to try get myself on track. Building a routine helps too. And exercise. Exercise is natural serotonin for your body. And helps with anxiety or stress feelings. You get used to it. In my teens and early 20s it really bothered me that I didn't have a so or a bigger circle of friends. Now in my late 20s I still don't have a gf and I don't see my friends anymore as they all moved away and started their own families. It's just become a norm for me to always be single and it's hard to imagine my life being any other way no matter how badly I might want it at times. It's hard to imagine that a girl would want to share her life with me. The idea of it seems so unrealistic and out of reach for me that I don't think people who are in a similar situation could really understand me 100%. But yeah you get used to it. It becomes part of your identity. We come in alone we leave alone. I'm curious too, because I can't. I'll wait a few years until I reach 35 and off myself because a lonely life isn't worth it to me. I'll be 35 this year. 
I'm lonely. Anyway don't do it. Suicide is a bad choice. Just take up drinking or drugs to fill the gap. It's easy to meet girls in rehab. Win, win. People say keep living, things get better but that's not always the case. I know. I'm in favor of assisted suicide for those with fatal diseases that make your time left not worth it. I have to believe that people can survive being sad and lonely or else what the fuck am I still doing here? We can only keep going forward till we can't anymore. Wish you the best man. Please. Find someone that you can talk to about this. A therapist would be great. But I know not everyone can afford that. If you, or anyone else, needs someone to talk to who will listen to them without judgment, please DM me. Being alone does not mean you have to live with loneliness. You are worth your own time. YouTube to make you feel like you have someone talking to you. OMG no. Find ways to put yourself out there for a chance of making real friends. YouTube will only make you forget about the issue. Not solving it. It's such bullshit that this is the first reply of that kind I see. Why the fuck does everyone just encourage each other to stay lonely? They obviously don't like it so they should fucking do something about it. I used to be like that. I then found out I had anxiety and had apparently had it for like 15 years. Now, after six months of therapy, my quality of life has skyrocketed. I got a job. I'm actually reconnecting with some old friends. I speak to colleagues. This is all shit I wouldn't have done before. Don't allow yourself to be miserable. If you want help, find a professional. Otherwise you can send me a PM and I'll send you a shory write-up I made of how to get out of anxiety. It's not the same as loneliness but I think the techniques will work just the same. I agree with everything you said. I strongly support going to therapy when you feel you need the help. No one should feel lonely on a permanent basis and if you can't figure out why you can't make connections, you should see a trained professional to help you do that. When you've been lonely all your life with little friends it becomes a normal part of life. Life just goes day by day until you die. Channel into a creative outlet. I love playing with sounds on Logic. Some of my loneliest days are the best ones. How to fight loneliness. Smile all the time. Shine your teeth to meaningless. And sharpen them with lies. Great song terrible advice. Find the contrast between your life and the life of those around you and learn to appreciate the differences. 34. Single. And literally every single one of my friends is married with kids. I figured out a while back that they always need to check in. They always have something to do for their kids or their wife or husband. And I've learned to appreciate how much complete and total freedom I have. If I decided to pick up and move across the country it would be a challenge to get a new job in housing in wherever I decided to land but there's no family that I'm abandoning. My friends would be saddened and confused by my sudden decision but ultimately they'd respect it. Because that's how friendship works, it's not that close, we're building a life together, sort of. Relationship one has with a significant other. Now, that's not to say that their lives don't have benefits mine don't. Nor even that they don't outweigh the benefits of my life. You gotta find the bright spots and cherish the unique things that your life brings you. If you're lonely, when's the last time anybody told you what to do? You have total freedom, monsieur. You have the freedom to not have anyone to talk to. To not travel with anyone special. To not get an actual house. To not get a dog because of work and other stuff. Etc. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.